Hi, my name's Vish and I translated a poem from Spanish. My name is Grace and I translated a poem from Mandarin. My name is Caroline Livia and I translated a poem from Spanish. Hello, my name is Maddie and I translated a poem from Mandarin. I chose to translate this poem because it presented a challenge due to its length and I thought that it would be a good idea to challenge myself. The most challenging part of the translation was that once I had translated a line, sometimes I needed to go back to it and change the word order so that it read correctly. I really like this poem because I think hope was a very significant part of the poet I Ching's life, who was imprisoned for many years for standing up for what he believed in. Hope is always important, especially right now, given the uncertainty and challenges we face as a global community. I chose to translate this poem because it's simple yet powerful, and it shows how death is perceived as we get older. A large challenge when translating this poem was finding a realistic rhyming scheme while still keeping the meaning of the poem. I chose to translate this poem because I enjoyed how it conveyed both the poet's emotion and the landscape around him in only four short lines, which is a quality I have tried to preserve in my own translation. My name is Hannah Krupa Jordan and I translated a poem from Tamil. I liked the poem Our Tamil Life when I first read it because it is true to my experience of India during my holidays there, which I enjoy a great deal. The poem is titled And Yet Our Tamil Life and is written by Manushya Putran. These doorbells, does it matter they don't ring? And yet. None of my visitors have left without today's gossip. The bathroom has a broken latch. So what? A year and a half has gone by, and yet, no one's privacy has been invaded, nor daydreams interrupted. The chair may have a broken leg, its balance a little rocked, and yet, to the startled guest, not a hint of disrespect. For more than a week now, I've driven my car with failing brakes, and yet, in this city where God keeps watch, I managed to return home in one full piece. I suffer a pain in my belly, but what can I do? Nowadays it returns more frequently. And yet, if I recline at a certain angle, I can just about bear the pain. There may be endless predicaments in most parts of our Tamil life. And yet, Tamil life is plain sailing, a thread without knots.